Now, oil is up at or around a two-week high. There are two factors affecting the oil price. First of all is natural. The second is as a result of the American Petroleum Institute uh, figures out yesterday. Investors increasingly worried about Hurricane Idalia, which is uh, churning over the Gulf of Mexico. According to the IA, the offshore Gulf of Mexico accounts for about 15% of U.S. oil output and about 5% of natural gas production. Uh, later in the day, as I said, the API came through uh, with some numbers, which we can have a look at now to show you what's been happening. The Institute reporting 11.5 million barrel fall in crude oil stocks, when analysts expected only a drop of 2.9 million. Gasoline and distillate stocks rising respectively by 1.4 and 2.5 uh, million barrels. But you can see if you look at U.S. crude, relatively strong day yesterday. In fact, today we're building on that. Currently trading 81.42. Uh, the market's uh, right in the middle of this band between 78.54, which we've got drawn on here uh, from the low point we had uh, back on the 3rd of August to the high we had at 84.40. Uh, also, remember the SPR, Strategic Petroleum Reserves? In March 2022, the Biden administration decided to release reserves at a rate of 1 million barrels of oil per day for about six months to bring prices down. At the start of the year, it was announced that it was time to gradually replenish reserves. On Monday, the Department of Energy said it added another 600 barrels to the reserves. SPR is still sitting at a four-decade low. And at this rate, it will take around a decade to come back to 2021 levels.